We've had the, the first in our series of our Ingenuity and Beyond events going on this week. A kind of original take on the three hours, reading, writing, arithmetic. The first of those being the, the Rockets Week. We'll have our Robots Week in February and our Racing Cars Week in July next year. We've just been trying to work on the project to try to see how space works, get people into space, bring visitors over here like Professor Chris Welch and let's us like interact with them. Instead of watching them on YouTube, we're actually meeting the actual people, which is something that you really don't get anywhere else. Space is big and it presents us with lots and lots of unique challenges and it takes all sorts of expertise and skills to live up to those challenges. Some of the main points that I wanted to get across to the students today was that interest and curiosity will always serve you well in life. If you find something that you're really interested in, pursue it because you'll learn skills that you don't even know are applicable to lots of other stuff and um, it'll, it'll lead for an interesting life and good opportunities in the future. To, to have a career in space doesn't just mean being an astronaut. There are many, many jobs on the ground and the UK in particular has a very ambitious target for 2030 to capture 10% of the global space economy and to create tens of thousands of new jobs in the space sector. So today we're doing the Astrodome, which is an inflatable planetarium. Inside it's super cool because there's a 360 degree video that goes in front of you, above you, around you, and it's all about space technologies, the engineering sciences in space, stuff with NASA, with Google, with SpaceX. It's really cool and immersive. We've been setting fires and stuff and blowing things up and uh, you know the kids have been involved with uh, demonstrating rocket fuel. And the rocket we have outside is a real rocket. We launched it just a few months ago. We got it back and we take it around to schools and stuff. But Propulsion Lab fits really good because uh, we're demonstrating how we launch the rocket and the sort of fuels and, and chemistry and physics behind all that. So today we've been talking about exoplanets and we've tried to get the kids to think a little bit more outside the box because when you talk about planets you tend to think of planets on our own solar system. So we want them to think a little bit further than that and to see what is out there in the night sky and think a little bit further afield. And I'm introducing them to the program that we have which is Cubes in Space which is a global engineering design competition where students design and propose an experiment to launch into space with NASA. So today they're getting to learn a bit about the, the basics, what it takes to design an experiment, what they can and can't do, and also to learn rocket trajectory and kind of the space path that they're going to fly. The activities week will be very beneficial because we've learned a lot of things that I wouldn't have done in a normal school lesson. I've enjoyed um, meeting all the special guests, it's something that I, I couldn't even have dreamed of doing before and uh, also being a part of this big event. Uh, so I've just been in a lecture about the Large Hadron Collider and particle physics. The lectures uh, that I've just been in were really informative and they help out with what I'm doing as A-levels. It's important for us at the UTC that we inspire our young people to become the engineers of the future. 